Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Lots of gentlemen, very few ladies, uh, according to my analytics anyway. I'm heading down to Oak Island here. Check out a unit I put in last year. They said the condenser's not coming on. Stay tuned to find out why that is. Looks like we got a bad case of Frozen, and not the one with Anna and Elsa. We're gonna put it in heat and melt this ice off. I see we have a very low suction pressure, but right now, since it's covered in ice, that's not gonna be a very good indicator. We're gonna need to wait till the ice is clear, then check the system charge after that. You know, setting heat to melt off all the ice. Most of the ice is melted, as you see. So we're gonna melt the rest of it, then we'll put it in cooling to check the charge. As you can see guys, we have a 190 over 72 with a 50 degree superheat, which is way too high. So I am gonna have to charge this unit back up, this brand new unit, and come back and bind our leak whenever the renters leave or in between a set of renters just to make it a little bit easier. You can see these lines here are not even a year old yet. They go up here to the area that runs across the ceiling. So I'm gonna check this section here even though we did replace most of the lines. We didn't replace a little bit that's going up through there because they wanted to save that. And I almost regret not painting these or doing something to protect them down here. I think I will in the future. Right here, guys. These are the bubbles that are coming off this line. It's leaking right there. Actually, has a couple locations it's leaking. We just might have to go up into the in between floors and rip that down to replace it.